Welcome back. As you've seen, we've actually gone through the EPA data set in several videos. And you know, maybe it's time we share this information with the broader community. So to do that, you go to the server and um, Tableau Public and save the Pablo Public. And then it will prompt you to log in. <laughs> Remember what this is. Oh, ducky. Um, let me pause and we'll come back to this. Remarkably, I actually remembered my login and passwords. <laughs> it's hard to believe. But I got an error message. And let's just read this error message because this, these are important. The Tableau server you are publishing it does not permit external data connections and use the data menu to create the extract for the following sources data extract required for the state and for the correlation. So these are both in the same spreadsheet. Um, so say okay. And data. Extract data. You can probably leave a set. You can get more fancier with all this if you want to pick what exactly you are going to extract. I'm just going to dump it out here. And data correlation. Extract data. I'm going to dump it out there as well. Mm -hmm. it's the default directory of data sources. Let's go back to it. Server. Tableau public. Save the Tableau public. I already logged in. I actually did remember that somehow. Setting data to server. Setting data to server. And voila. We have an analysis that came up here and good things. It was pretty interesting. And we were able to put this in Tableau Public and then navigate it to Tableau Public and those kind of things. You can download it to Tableau Public, do the full screen Tableau Public, um, and navigate around. I think it's quite useful. So as we're continuing, a couple of things we want to go through. So you saw what we did earlier we actually took it and we went to server and we published the um, Tableau Public and we saved the Tableau Public. But when we got the Tableau Public, I only saw one sheet without navigation. So what I had to do was actually publish a second sheet. So when I went back to my Tableau desktop and from the Tableau desktop, I chose the next one, contributing factors. And I did the same routine when I went to server and Tableau Public, saved the Tableau Public and it loaded up. So then what that did was when I went back to the Tableau Public, there was a settings feature here. And what was this thing? Settings here. And then you can show show sheets. And when you click show sheets, it shows the tabs. You're able to put all the tabs. The other thing is you might want to think about, do you allow people access to your actual viz or not? So it just really depends who you want to deploy your shell. Some of this is proprietary. People don't cite things properly. So you got to be careful when showing and giving full access to it. Plus, maybe you want people to call you to act for consultancy. Definitely feel free to put in um, details of what the viz is. And then you can see here we have the viz up and running and it's good to go. And it has all the cool things we've been building over the last several weeks and the charts and those things and it's fully interactive and it's on Tableau Public. And you have all the charts that we just created a couple minutes ago in the other learning video. So this is how you publish something to Tableau Public and then you say by Chris Murphy, a resume and that file and we can work it. We have to add a thumbnail, but you have to customize it, those kind of things, but still very powerful. It's a good way of publishing your resume. As you see, I have mine up there and you can feature it. And then other publishing analyses, you can give examples. So school projects and those kind of things, you can actually publish them and then put those on your resume and say, these are some of the projects. Or if you're a consultant, these are some of the analysis that I've done. And you protect your intellectual property by now that not allowing to drop down for um, the Tableau package, but rather just let them print it to PDF or those kind of things. 
and then people can always call you for services. Those are always great things and very insightful. So good luck, and I look forward to seeing a lot of published visits.